Today's song was inspired while driving through a vast, desolate desert plain in southern Morocco. It's one of Led Zeppelin's most mysterious and hypnotic songs. In fact, Jimmy Page even said that he wished that Led Zeppelin was more known for this song than Stairway to Heaven. Now, the guitar is tuned to an unusual open tuning. It's a D sus4, or what's known as dad gad tuning. I'm gonna break it all down for you step by step in this cashmere guitar lesson. So let's dive straight in. The first thing we gotta talk about is the tuning. So how do you get there? What do you do? Well, if you're in standard tuning, you're gonna start by taking your sixth string and tuning it down to D, so it's gonna match this note. Then A is gonna stay the same, D stays the same, G stays the same, but the second string, which is normally B, we're gonna tune down to A. So it should match this note, and then D as well on the first string. So D matches this D, and also this D. So you've got just to back up, D, A, D, G, A, D, dad, gad. Now from there, we're gonna play this really just hypnotic riff. It's all based on a couple shapes and moving up one fret at a time. Check it out. So it starts on all Ds, okay? So this is a D at the fifth fret on the fifth string, then I have an open D right underneath it, and then D the octave up on the seventh fret of the third string. Okay, we're gonna play this, it's gonna go. And then it restarts there. So I'm on this shape, five open seven, and then we shift it down to, I'm gonna put now my pinky on the fifth fret of the fifth string, play open D still, and then the second fret on the third string. So a bit of a stretch there, but this is actually now a D5 or a D power chord in this tuning. So it's one E and a two E and a three. Okay, and that's with the strumming hand, I'm going down, up, down, then I rest, down, up, down, okay. Those are 16th notes. One E and a two E and a, and then three. Then after that, we play the low sixth string, which is the note D. So one E and a two E and a three E and a. Okay, then what we're gonna do, I said we're gonna move up fret by fret. Check this out. So we're gonna take this shape, and we're gonna move the note on the third string up. one fret at a time, okay, in the progression. So check it out. Moves up. Moves up. Moves up. Okay, so what I did when, when I came here to the D5, played the low six string, then we play, I switch. So I was on my pinky here, then I go to my ring finger on the fifth string, and then index now on the third fret of the third string. Okay, I go down, up, down, then the low sixth string. Then we move up, that three goes to four, so I just put down my middle finger. Do that down, up, down, rest. Down, up, down. Okay, then the low sixth string. Then we move to five and five here. Five on the fifth string and five on the third string. Notice I'm using my pinky now. So I'm... So it's progressively climbing up from two, three, four, five. And then it restarts, play the sixth string and then go back up. Okay, if I count it and play it slowly here, one E and a two E and a three E and four E and a one E and a two and three E and a four E and a one E, two E and a three E and a four and one. Reset. So 
So it's a very open, just kind of droning sound. And we have this, it's actually a cliche chord progression, this. It's almost like the 007 chord progression. But it just goes up. Right, so you have that, it's basically taking the fifth of the chord and sharping it, sharp five, then six, then flat seven, D five, it's like D sharp five, D six, D seven. Those are the names of those chord shapes. Now, if you wanna learn patterns like this anywhere on the neck, I recommend checking out my free blues scale PDF guide. It's gonna help you fill in these gaps and learn more about the fretboard. You can get this completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash blues scales, or I left a link below this video. That'll take you there, and you can get this as my gift to you. So that's the main riff, and again, this repeats over and over for the first part. And then we have the second figure, which goes like this. Three, four. Love this part. So this is using double stops here with a lot of open strings around them. Let me break it down. We've got the open fourth string, then 12 on the third string, open second string, and then 12 on the first string. So it's like open 12, open 12. And these are the double stops. These two notes. And then we've got all the open tuning ringing around it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna play this shape and then we're gonna just change one note. This note on the 12th fret of the third string is gonna drop one fret to the 11th fret there. And I'll just do that by taking off my middle finger and then planting down my index finger. Like that. Then what we're gonna do is keep doing this move in different places down the neck. So it's gonna start here on 12 and then go to 11 there. Then we'll go to 10 and drop it down to nine. Okay, so. Then we're gonna go to seven and seven and then drop it down to six. Okay, so it's all the same move, just shifting it around and using different notes, so. Slightly different rhythm there. The rhythm goes one e and a two and three e and a four and. So strumming directions would go down, up, down, up, down, down. Okay, then we're gonna go to five and five here. Same move, drop it down to four, then three and three, drop it down to two. So it's just the same, all of that is the same thing. Just, again, moving around the fretboard. And we end with this. These three notes here on the fourth string. Three, two, zero, F, E, D, those are the notes, so. All right, then when we come out of this, we actually come back to the middle of the first figure. So we actually go to five and three, just kind of right in the middle of the riff. All right, the next part I wanna share with you is a variation on the first riff. And it has this little... I love that part. This comes in a little bit later into the tune. So the way that would work into the riff is like this. You would go... Right here. Okay, so I sort of leave the main riff a little early. I go up high and I play this melody, starting on the fifth string. 
12, 11, 12, 14, 12, 11, 12, 9. Da 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 dee da da dee da. And I play the low six string with it like this. When you get to the last one, you can go, you know, and you kind of tie back into the main figure. So. Okay, and that would replace this in the riff, right? So it's like, then I go down to five and two here. Now, sometimes you'll see Paige, he'll go, put an octave here. You can do that as well, nine and 11. And that's a cool sound as well. That would go like this. and so on and so on. So now there's a couple more parts. If you made it this far, great job, keep it up. Here we're gonna go into this next. And the last time we go. This takes us into the bridge, and I love this part. We've got this little line out of, we do the same thing. We did before. Now, previously we went, here we're just gonna add a few more notes. We're gonna go three, two, zero, that's the same. Then play open fifth string, second fret, open fourth string. So it's. Okay, so coming out of it. Now this is an A power chord here. I'm just playing the open fifth string and then the second fret on the fourth string. And rhythmically I'm going one and two and three and. Okay, so it's on the downbeat, one, and then on the and a two, one and two and then on the and of three so one and two and three and then we go all the way up to the 12th fret on the fifth string and 11th fret on the fourth string just these two notes hit that on the and of four slide down and go back down to the a power chord here we'll hit that on the and of one so four and one so rhythmically, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Then again, one and two and three and four and one and two. Then we tie back in the riff that got us into that part. So we go. So it's three E and a four E and a. So if I counted it out, one and two and three and four and one and two and three E and a four E and a one. Two rest, three, four. Then we add the lick the next time. Two and three and four and one, two and three. And rest, then add the lick. Okay, then later we go back. We repeat all familiar material. Now the very end, we have one final part where there's two new chords. You gotta know, we come out of this. Okay, then we have these big power chords here. I'll show you the way I play it in this tuning. I play a G5 like this. I play the fifth fret of the sixth string, mute the fifth string, then open, open, five, five. Hit two bars of this chord. Then I go to A, like this. Open fifth string, two, two, open two. Okay, just really big power chords, basically. Now an easier way would be just use one finger 
and play the low three strings, G to A, like this. Or you can do G to A, like that. Now this is two bars on each chord. I'm just gonna keep eighth notes, one and two and three and four and like this. That's how to play one of Led Zeppelin's most mysterious and hypnotic tunes. This riff is completely epic. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to take your time with these parts. There's a lot of things going on between the different rhythms, the counting, and of course, this unusual open tuning in Dadgad. But have fun practicing it. Don't forget to grab my free blues scale PDF guide. This is gonna help you so much for playing rock guitar, for learning to improvise and master your fretboard. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash blues scales and grab that as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching and for more Led Zeppelin, check out this video next.